regular meeting of the Reno City Planning Commission. Today is Thursday, November 16th, 2023 at 6 p.m. We will start off with the Pledge of Allegiance. Commissioner Velto, please. Oh, yeah, we're standing, folks. Yeah. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Moving on to item number two, roll call. Michelle, please. Harris Armstrong. Here. Manny Becerra. Here. Arthur Munoz. Did he drop out? I think you're on mute. He's here. I'll just mark him as here. Carrie Romeyer. Here. Alex Felto. Here. Sylvia Villanueva. Here. JD Draculich. Here. You have a quorum. Thank you. Moving to item number three, public comment. This item is for either public comment on any action item or for any general public comment. Okay, let me read this into the record. Members of the public may call into the meeting to provide public comment by using the Zoom link provided on the agenda, specifically HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash links dot reno dot gov forward slash planning 11 dash 16. It should be noted for those in the audience that comments are to be addressed to the planning commission as a whole. Comments heard under this item will be limited to three minutes per person and may pertain to matters both on and off the planning commission agenda. Please note that the planning commission may not take action upon any matter not agendized for possible action on today's agenda. When you are called on for public comment, please state your name for the record and begin speaking. The timer will begin when you say your name and you will be forwarded three minutes. If you are an attendee in a Zoom meeting and would like to make public comment at this time, please raise your hand. Lastly, while in this room, please be respectful. Warnings will be issued by the presiding officer if there is disruptive behavior and when you will be asked to leave chambers if the behavior continues. With that, I did not receive any public comment for this meeting. Um, there are no public commenters here in the audience. And I don't think we have anybody on Zoom that wishes to make public comment for this item. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, with that being said, not seeing anybody in Zoom or anywhere else, we will close item number three, public comment, and move on to item number four, public hearings. Any person who has chosen to provide his or her public comment when a public hearing is heard will need, so, need to so indicate on the request to speak form provided to the secretary. Alternatively, you may provide your comment when item number three, public comment, is heard at the beginning of this meeting. Going back to that, since we don't have any requests to speak form of opportunities here, we'll make sure we're getting a hold of anybody in Zoom. And please consider raising your hand in the chat to uh, let us know you want to speak. We will start off with item 4.1, which is case number LDC24-00016, Mariscos El Barco. Will we get a presentation from the applicant? Uh, the applicant was not going to give a presentation. I'm not sure if he's on here. He's supposed to be. Uh, I only see one person that I don't recognize. Michelle, do you know if the applicant is on here? He's being moved in right now. Okay. All right. So yeah, he's not going to be giving a presentation, but he is available for questions, should you have any. Um, and I will begin my presentation here. Thank you, Jeff. Yep, can you all see that? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. So, uh, as you indicated, uh, or sorry, Jeff Foster, Associate Planner for the Record, uh, bringing you tonight LDC 2410, which is Mariska Zell Barco. Uh, the project, oh, I have to minimize. Okay. Uh, so the project site is 1.71 acres. Um, it's the Plum Lane Plaza neighborhood shopping center on the northwest corner of Plum and Rondell uh, near the Reno Public Market and the Reno Experience District that you can see. Recording in progress. That you can see to the left. Um, and the request is for a conditional use permit to allow a bar, lounge, or tavern in the general commercial zoning district. 
Uh, zooming in here, the building that is in question is uh, indicated by the red arrow on the corner there. Um, and as far as the uses surrounding the site, we have a mixture of single family and multifamily to the north. We have a single family use to the east uh, across Rondell. Uh, to the south across Plum, we have commercial. And to the west, uh, we have the parking lot and the rest of the commercial in that existing neighborhood shopping center. The zoning is general commercial, as I indicated earlier. And the master plan use is suburban mixed use. Here are a handful of policies that, uh, that, that the project lines up with. And I did want to spend a little bit of time going through each of these. Um, as far as existing businesses, Marisco's has another location in Sparks. Uh, underutilized properties, that uh, restaurant building, it's a, an existing restaurant building, um, and it's currently vacant. As far as a mix of uses, um, the uh, the general the zone supports a mix of uses as part of community and neighborhood centers centers that reflect needs of adjoining residents and the characteristics of individual neighborhoods. And as far as the last overall mix, a broad mix of higher intensity uses will be supported in urban corridors corridors, including but not limited to residential, retail, commercial, and other employment and service oriented uses. So for the components of the project, um, it's an existing 3,902 square foot uh, building previously operated as El Pescador. Um, the applicant has, the, the building has a small bar with seven seats. The operations are 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., seven days per week. And the applicant will also have uh, a cabaret live entertainment use, which is indoor live music, i.e. Uh, a roving piano or guitar player. I don't know, not a roving piano player, a roving guitar player. Um, that'd be pretty impressive to have a roving piano player. Um, so the, uh, they, but they'll go around to the various tables. I'm sure you've all been to uh, Mexican restaurants like that. Um, that's the extent of the indoor live music. And this is a proposed family style restaurant with alcohol and the bar requires a CUP. And the reason it requires, the reason that this application is before us is because the customers can order directly from the bar. So by definition, that is a bar and a bar in the GC zone requires a conditional use permit. As far as compatibility with surrounding uses, um, the surrounding commercial uses are typical of shopping centers. There are other restaurants with alcohol service and a convenience store with accessory package alcohol in that center. There are no other bar uses in the center and the proposed use is entirely within the building. Operational impacts, um, and here's the bar as you can see. Um, again, standard operating hours, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., indoor live music, uh, but the doors and windows will remain closed at all times and that's per condition number five. Um, again, being a family restaurant, there won't be any you know, nightclub types of effects from smoke or odor, dust, vibration, illumination. So they're not expected to be uh, impacts to uh, surrounding land uses. And uh, specifically RPD and code enforcement both reviewed the application and have no concerns. I should also note that there were no NAB or public comments received. Here are the conditional use permit recommended findings. Uh, staff can make all of the recommended findings. And here's the recommended motion, and I'm available for questions. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate that. We'll go now to the commissioners for disclosures. Commissioner Velto. Uh, Commissioner Velto, no disclosure. Uh, familiar with the site, no, no other disclosures. All right, thank you. Commissioner Armstrong. Uh, familiar with the site, no other disclosures. Commissioner Villanueva. Familiar with the site, no other disclosures. Commissioner Rohrmeyer. Same disclosures. Commissioner, sorry, going down. Commissioner Becerra. Uh, Commissioner Becerra, I visited this site. Commissioner Munoz. Commissioner Munoz, no disclosures. Commissioner Draculich, I'm familiar with the site. All right, now that we got through that, we'll open it up for public comment. Michelle, do we have anybody on Zoom or any voicemails? 
no voicemails, no correspondence, and no one on Zoom to make public comment. And there's nobody here in Chambers to make public comment either. either. Okay, thank you for telling me that. Great. Uh, seeing no public comment, we will close public comment and open it up to the commissioners for questions of uh, Jeff or maybe even the applicant. Commissioner Becerra, please. Yeah, thank, thank you, uh, Chair. Um, just a quick question, maybe for the applicant, Mr. Chayas, uh, and maybe Jeff can uh, jump in too. It's, it's really more of a clarifying question. Uh, Jeff, your hours of operation indicate, I believe, 10 to 10. Uh, Mr. Chayas, I think your application mentions 11 to 9. Uh, I don't necessarily think that's a deal breaker, but just Clarifying question: what, what what are the hours that you anticipate uh, being open or running this this restaurant? Uh, it's going to be uh, ten to ten. From oh, 10 it will be 10, ten to ten. Yeah. Oh, okay. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. And um, I think that was. I did. Oh, the, the other question was just. Um, uh, the the mitigation for the sound or for the music i suppose was that the windows and doors would be closed all the time um, you're freezing so you're cutting out oh. oh okay i'm sorry uh actually i'm okay i my question's been answered thanks y'all thank you thank you commissioner any other questions or potential discussion? Uh, Mr. Velto, I'm, I'm ready to make a motion unless there is discussion. I'm seeing none, feel free. Uh, in the matter of case number LDC 24-00016, uh, based upon compliance with the applicable findings, I move to approve the conditional use permit subject to the conditions listed in the staff report and I can make all the findings. All right, we have a motion. Push your arms on a second. We got a motion in a second. Any other discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, motion passes unanimously. Good luck with your project, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Recording stop. Recording in progress. Oh, closing item. Oh. Sorry, that caught me off guard. Closing item four, moving to item number five, Truckee Meadows Regional Planning Liaison Report. Do we have an update? We do not have an update or report this evening. Okay. Thank you. So closing item five, moving to item six, staff announcements. Uh, no staff announcements this evening. Um, we will be... Uh, have a fairly heavy agenda just to kind of forewarn everybody for our December 7th meeting. And then our December 20th meeting, as I mentioned at the last meeting, will be held at the City of Sparks Council Chambers due to some upgrade, IT upgrades that will be occurring here in the City of Reno Chambers. Thank you. All right, we'll close item six, move to item seven, commissioner suggestions for future agenda items. Seeing no hands raised, we will close item seven, move to item eight, which is public comment. This item is for either public comment on any action item or for any general public comment. Michelle, anything, uh, Zoom, voicemails? No, no voicemails, no correspondence, no request to speak forms, and no, that's it. <laughs> no one in the chambers? No one in chambers. Okay, all right. All right, seeing that, we'll close item number eight, public comment, and move to item number nine for adjournment. So moved. All right, we have a motion all in favor. <laughs> Aye. 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 Thanks, y'all. Thank you. I'm going to say y'all. Have a good night. Bye.